spokesperson, Kristen Rasmussen. Kristen, thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, explain for, for folks who might quite not, not quite understand it, why did you want to put these documents out there? Why did you think it was necessary for the world to, I, I guess, see how the sausage is made diplomatically? Well, this is a, a, we are a media organization, and it is very much a, a, a journalistic uh, decision. Uh, people have the, the right to know what uh, their governments are up to. But I have to correct you, though. Uh, we have not put out any, uh, uh, published only 250,000 documents, or, or only a few hundred are out there yet. We will, uh, 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 we will release them in uh, batches in the next uh, coming weeks. All right, so you will be putting them out there eventually. You say, you say that the public has a right to know. I mean, there are a lot of things that go on militarily, in the intelligence community, uh, in the diplomatic community as well, that, that maybe would be intriguing to know about, but for reasons of national security, uh, they have been kept under wraps. And there are people today who are suggesting that what WikiLeaks is doing is actually threatening national security. What do you say to those charges? Well, I think it's a bit far-fetched, and uh, it is uh, important to keep in mind that uh, these cables are uh, not uh, in the uh, uh, top uh, secret classification. Uh, uh, even, I mean, almost uh, half of them are unclassified. So uh, there is uh, very little there that is, uh, could cause imminent threat to national security. Uh, and may I add, uh, because of the accusation that the information in these cables may cause uh, danger to uh, individuals that uh, we have uh, uh, and will go to great length in scrutinizing the materials both uh, uh, our organization and our media partners in order to redact uh, names of individu individuals that uh, might actually be harmed uh, by uh, the exposure you know a, a lot of what we're seeing i mean you know it's i guess the state department and the administration is calling it sort of unvarnished communications uh, in the diplomatic world between the diplomatic members of the diplomatic corps uh, things like Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad being compared to Hitler, French President Nicolas Sarkozy called an emperor with no clothes, uh, the president of Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, driven by paranoia. I mean, this is the sort of thing that if, if you are an American diplomat, you don't necessarily want these people to know about. But is it really... Well, if you're an American diplomat, if you're an American diplomat, uh, should you actually just uh, say those things, uh, compare a uh, uh, leader to Hitler? Uh, there are other revelations there. Are, there, are, there are, of course, big interest with the general public. Uh, may I uh, point out, for example, the uh, cable instructing uh, the uh, State Department diplomats to conduct spying at the United Nations and, and uh, even collect the biometric information. Uh, that uh, certainly would follow, uh, be outside the scope of, uh, of normal diplomatic activity to uh, collect uh, DNA samples from uh, the members of the United Nations Security Council and, and uh, I think it might even be a breach of, uh, of international conventions. And, and that is something we should point out that the State Department uh, is denying and saying that it, it never happened. The, the, just back to again what the impact of this would be, Kristen. Uh, the White House calls this reckless and dangerous. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen, says uh, lives could be put at risk here. The State Department says it could risk counterterrorism operations. Certainly impact relations with other nations. Uh, I guess they're saying you're playing a dangerous game here. Well, these are comments that were uh, in statements before actually the, uh, the, we started releasing the materials, and this is nothing new to us. We had uh, similar strong statements when we were releasing the Iraq war logs mm -hmm. and the Afghan war diary. Uh, Later on, uh, even, even uh, uh, top officials on Pentagon had to admit that there had been uh, no dangers caused. Uh, when the uh, Iraq war log was released, prior to the release, uh, the, uh, the Pentagon was saying that we were putting the lives of 300 individuals into danger. Yeah. Uh, in fact, when we released the material, we had redacted all names, mm -hmm. so there was no danger there. Now, now this, is, this is being ratcheted up um, by American politicians. Uh, Republican Congressman Peter King says that he wants WikiLeaks uh, prosecuted for espionage, and he's also pushing the Secretary of State to declare WikiLeaks a foreign terrorist organization. And I'm wondering what your response to that is. Well, I think um, uh, this is a, a, very, a very serious uh, thing to say from uh, lawmakers and uh, uh, and I hope that is not the sentiment uh, in, in Washington in general. All right. Kristen Raffneson from WikiLeaks, thanks for joining us this morning.